It's on to beautiful Florida, where the Patriots play the Miami Dolphins in the Orange Bowl. The daylight fades almost as fast as Babe Pirelli does on this pass play. Babe has ample time to find Gino Capaletti for 57 yards midway through the second period. Pirelli keeps the Patriots in the title race with this 22-yard payoff pass to Art Graham. Watch Graham's left foot as Dick Westmoreland is left holding the shoe. Is that any way to run a pass pattern? You bet it is. It's 7-0 Patriots in the second quarter. Nearing the end of the first half, Pirelli again measures the Miami pass defense with this strike to number 81, Jim Coldclaw. Good for 25 yards. Now the pitch out goes to Jim Nance. He turns the corner behind the Boston strong boy, Len St. Jean. And the Patriots advance 27 yards closer to the goal line. The Miami defense stiffens, so Gino Capaletti booms one between the uprights from 32 yards out. Flipper, Miami's pet dolphin, has himself a ball, while the Patriots have themselves a 10-0 lead at intermission. Flipper knows leather isn't as good as fish, so he returns the pigskin in order to collect a tasty snack. Second half action resumes in the Orange Bowl, and Nick Bonacati intercepts Dick Wood's hurried throw after a fine pass rush from all leaguers Larry Eisenhower and Houston Antwine. Dalton linebacker Wahoo McDaniel jumps the gun, but gets back in time. Jim Nance still hits that left side for 23 yards. Later, Gino Capaletti tries for his longest field goal of the season. The ball sails true and through for a booming 49-yard score, and Boston leads 13 to nothing in the third period. Later in the quarter, Len St. Jean and center John Morris open up a big hole for Jim Nance. The league super fullback goes non-stop as Boston takes charge 20 to nothing. The Dolphins counter with one touchdown and look for another. Quarterback Dick Wood throws to Carl Noonan. Who in turn flips to Joe Auer. And Auer goes the rest of the way on this exciting 38-yard razzle-dazzle play. However, the Dolphins fall one touchdown shy as Jim Nance becomes the new AFL single season ground gaining king and the Patriots win 20 to 14. It's back home again for the Dolphins and about with Boston. Miami is proud of its first year linebacker, Frank Emanuel. The Tennessee All-American is pitted against the American Football League's best, Jim Nance. Emanuel, who once made 17 unassisted tackles for the volunteers against Kentucky, holds his own while getting acquainted with the league's player of the year. Emanuel is strong, has good pursuit, and usually gets to the ball carrier. All important characteristics for a middle linebacker. The 23-year-old Dolphin also likes to drop back and swipe passes as he does against the Patriots' Babe Burley. But the Patriots are still fighting for the Eastern Division title and have too much for Miami. One of the Dolphin eye-openers develops as Dick Wood fires to Carl Noonan, the six-foot-three-inch rookie receiver, laterals to Joe Auer, who is trailing the play. Noonan then throws a block that stalls both Nick Buonacanti and Ron Hall as Auer refuses to be caught and goes in for the score. But Boston squeezes out a close 20-14 win over Miami. 